Hi, I'm James Niggemeyer, and I fish the Bassmaster Elite Series Tournament Trail, as well as I have a guide service on Lake Fork, and I'm a member of the Strike King Pro Staff. Uh, you know, recently I just, last week, fished a tournament down there on, on an Everstart tournament down on Sam Rayburn, which is about three hours from my house. And anytime I can get to fish Sam Rayburn, Toledo Bend, uh, I jump at the chance. Love those lakes. They're a lot like the lake I guide on, Lake Fork. And I had a great tournament. I made the top 10 cut. And I just wanted to share you some of the patterns, some of the behind the scenes on how, how that happened. It was a tough event, and I think the bite was starting to get good as the tournament practice progressed, but then, I mean, as the beginning of practice, and then as the tournament progressed, it got tougher and tougher and tougher. I could get bid on a Strike King uh, um, KVD popper, and I could get bid on a, a, a KVD uh, Sexy Dog, but then as the tournament progressed, it got tougher and tougher. The water got warmer and warmer, and it was also dropping. So I was trying to catch fish that were actually tight to cover, and I was flipping the grass, flipping the hydrilla mats, and uh, just that outside edge of the hydrilla. And what I did to do that, or what I used to do that, was a Strike King rodent in California craw. It's a, it's a great looking, it's a great bait. I've caught a ton of fish all over the country on this bait. Um, and it's got black neon on one side and watermelon red on the other, so it's a laminate bait. And I was putting it on our hack attack, four aught hack attack hook, and a one and a quarter uh, tour grade, striking tour grade tungsten weight. And I, was, and I was using a heavy weight to punch through that vegetation. So basically, I was flipping the grass with this bait. And I was throwing on 40 pound tough line braided line and a St. Croix uh, punching rod and an ardent reel. So, uh, basically, I, I would start the morning just flipping that grass, and I would flip from the beginning of the morning all the way to the end of the day. The first day I was in seventh, and then I dropped a little bit on day two, finishing uh, in tenth. And then the final day I moved up one more place to finish ninth. You know, flipping grass is probably my absolute favorite way to catch them. And anytime I can flip grass, I'm, I jump at the chance. And uh, you know that Strike King rodent, I've got so much confidence and so I just want to demonstrate quickly how I rig that. Just come in about a quarter an inch and run it right up on top of the hook. There's a little hook keeper on, a little bait keeper on the, on the uh, hack attack hook. Now turn the bait and then re-embed it right into, into it so it's completely weedless. The one and a quarter ounce tungsten weight goes right down on top of it. I got a little bobber stopper to keep it in place and um, the, one of the great things about the tungsten weight is it's a smaller diameter than if you were to have a one and a quarter ounce lead weight. It's going to be more dense so when fish clamp down on it they can't really hold it. You can pull it through the mouth and get the hook penetrated and started into their, the roof of their mouth. The other thing, the hack attack hook, heavy gauge hook, super sharp. Again, it's a, it's a straight shank but it has a, a bait keeper to keep the bait from sliding down when you're punching through stuff and flipping heavy cover. It's, it's designed for you know heavy rods, braided line with no stretch or little stretch. And so you want a hook that's not going to flex in that heavy cover. And so that hack attack hook is the way to go. And the rodent you know, is a streamlined profile, but it's a bulky bait. And it's got appendages to catch and move and flash in the water. It's really the ultimate rig for flipping and pitching heavy cover, you know, flipping grass or wood or whatever. And, it definitely shoot, proved to be incredibly uh, productive there down there at Sam Rayburn where I finished ninth. And that's uh, just what I wanted to share with you, how I did that and, and kind of behind the scenes on that tournament.